Hi guys, welcome to Rain's Place. This morning I'm making tomato gravy. Um, if you've never had it before, it's basically um, some flour tomatoes that you're going to use some butter, and I put a little bit of olive oil in here, and you're going to make a roux, and that's going to become your gravy. So let me get started. I have about a cup or so of just all-purpose flour, and I'm going to crack some salt and pepper into it. Now if you had homegrown tomatoes, that would be awesome. But I don't right now, so I have a couple of store-bought Romas that I have um, just sliced. It's about a Roma and a half right there. And now you can um, take the skin off of them, but when they cook down, the skins just are rings, so I just pull them out. I think it's easier. So I have that. In my pan, I have about a tablespoon of oil. I'm going to put a little tiny bit more. Okay. And I have about a tablespoon of butter. I'm going to put this on a medium-high heat. And what you want is for this to, um, to melt down. And then I'm just going to dip my tomatoes in this flour and then put them into the hot frying pan. And basically what you're doing is you're just um, browning the uh, tomatoes. And then I'm going to break them up with my spatula. That's my Aggie. Making noises. Okay. So while that is coming to temperature, so basically it's tomatoes, salt, pepper, flour, a little butter and oil in your pan, and you're gonna need some milk to make the gravy. But um, just take your tomatoes and dredge them in the flour, and I'll get a couple of these done while the um, while the oil is getting hot and if when you make it if you want to make a little bit more gravy and uh, you could just add some of the seasoned flour in to, to thicken it up a little if you're adding more milk but this is super easy super delicious it reminds me of summer my mom showed me how to make this and um, I just wish I had gotten around to growing some tomatoes this year okay this is so yummy, served over biscuits. Um, I'm going to eat this on some drop biscuits I made the other day that I added um, that I added some green onions and some cheddar cheese to. And um, the biscuit mix that I made those biscuits with is on my channel here. You just look up um, it's a uh, copycat bisquick baking mix, and I just used that. Um, that baking mix to make my biscuits. Totally simple. I'm making a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. okay let's see what's going on here. Okay, it's getting hot. I'm going to start dropping them in the pan. And again, they're not staying as like fried tomato slices, so it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to um, break them all up with your with your spatula. This is just to start the roux off nicely. Okay. I'm going to clean this up real quick and we'll be right back before. Okay, I just wiped off the counter a little bit. Um, I'm going to see if these are ready to. Yep. They're just starting to brown a little bit, You're cooking that flour off. So over here. Okay. Okay, if you feel that your pan is a little too dry, you can add another tablespoon of butter. It only makes the gravy that much better. Or a little more drizzle of olive oil, whichever you like. I think I'm going to put a little tiny bit of butter in here. Okay. 
Okay, you can see the tomatoes are starting to cook. I just like to break them up a little bit with my spatula. It smells so good, I wish you could smell it. Okay. So now I'm going to lower my heat a little bit. And I'm going to add some milk. I guess that's about a cup to start out. And again, you're just um, stirring it around because you want this to thicken from all the um, flour that was on those tomatoes. And this is the same as, you know, if you made a roux in a pan. You have your fat from the butter and the oil. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. I've got a frog. Okay, so you have your fat from your butter and your oil and then the flour that was on the tomatoes. And then you add the milk. See that beautiful color it gets? It's like a creamy... Almost like a, like a vodka sauce, like that kind of color. It smells wonderful. You can just taste your... I like a little bit more salt. Just do this to your taste. If you don't like the extra salt, don't add it. I love cracked black pepper. And that's pretty much all there is to tomato gravy. Like I said, it's wonderful on top of... Um, it's my favorite is on top of drop biscuits, but um, it's also great on top of toast. It's nice if you can serve this with, uh, sometimes I do like, um, sometimes I do a little bit of like bacon or, or like a, a slice of fried pancetta on top of the bacon and then this on top of that. So good. You could put this over an egg. That would be yummy. Okay, let's see what's going on here. I think we're done. And then you'll see the tomato skins in here, but all I do is I just pull them out. It's not a big deal. I think that's ten times easier than peeling the tomato. But as you can see, it is bubbly and creamy. And um, I'm going to serve this up over uh, one of my homemade biscuits. So if you give me two minutes, I will get that biscuit together and I'll come back and show you what it's like. Okay, I um, used one of my biscuits and I have a couple pieces of bacon here and I just smothered the biscuit in tomato gravy. It's so delicious. Um, I was just thinking when I was plating this up that you know what would be good too? You make the biscuits with the tomato gravy and maybe you use it for dinner with some fried chicken on the side and a nice vegetable. But um, I hope you guys give it a try. I hope you like it as much as I do. Please take a moment to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I will also post a link um, in the comments section that has the, uh, the link to the baking mix. And also to step-by-step um, -step photos that I have on my Facebook page that's also named Reen's Place. So if you have any questions, please leave them for me. Thanks for